What's going on YouTube? Just going to make a quick video here. I was just uh, spot welding some strips with a truck relay here on uh, auto auto trigger with no foot pedal. Got the pedal tucked away here. I was talking with Steve this morning. Another fellow YouTuber who uh, does a little spot welding stuff. Has a video about making a spot welder. Kind of 100% exactly like mine. Which is cool. It's all good. Um, so we were talking this morning about setting this up for auto. And, uh, you know, we were kind of talking about the Maltrex because they have like the Adreno board in there. And they got that programmed like a little screen, which anyone can do. You can, you can go get that code off the internet. You could just leave the board big and put that on there. But we were talking about uh, kind, of, kind of setting up what we already have on auto trigger. And I thought, you know what? The timing board kind of already sets that up. So normally I run the timing board with my MOSFET spot welder on number one program and I set it for 20 millisecond pulse time, pulse duration. So now I have it set up on program number four, cycle one second, pulse duration 20 milliseconds. And then all I've done is set the, the, the wiring on this to wire for a positive trigger and then I've simply looped that around. Don't mind the diode, just trying something. You got the diode, I got the wire coming from there to the negative. So when the negative or the electro touches the positive, remember this isn't a live negative to the weld happens. One second later, I get a 20, 20 millisecond pulse duration time. See that? 12 volts, non-conductive to my skin. Don't have to worry about getting electrocuted. The only thing that can happen here is I could get burnt. Anyways, that's just, a, you know, I know people wonder about that. Okay, so we got everything set up. <clears throat> we got the timing set up. Uh, now I tried the diode. I'll probably have to use an auto coupler or something, but the pulse weld itself triggers a second pulse weld. So that's why I was kind of showing you there that nothing happens if you use it without actually, you know, making a weld. Let's go, let's go on from there. Okay, so I'll set this up so you guys can see some welds. I'll have to use a strip I already got out right now, but. So basically I make contact. As soon as I make the other contact, one second later, 20 millisecond pulse duration time. And then I get another pulse. So I'll probably throw an auto coupler or something on there just to get rid of that. I think that should clean that up. I'm not sure if it's actually making a second. Well, actually, yeah, it should be good. This is two layers of 0 0.2 millimeter nickel strip. So I'm showing like something that you would actually use in the application of the build of like a battery pack, you know, that has relative decent amps or high amp draw. A lot of the videos you might see on YouTube, they're kind of like using like a, a strip that I might use as like a fuse. I probably use as a fuse or something like that. It's like a sunk strip from Sunco or something like that. It can only carry like one amp. So uh, keep in mind that guys, you got to think the video you're watching is that end product. If you copy that video, is it going to be, you know, what, what you need to fit your application for your amp, amp draw demands. Uh, so hopefully this video was helpful. You guys know, I always use these timer boards now. They're absolutely great. Uh, you have a bunch of different programs and things you can do with them. Like I said, I'm going to try to take that diode out, out there and put a, auto coupler and hopefully that will take care of that second uh firing and uh once i got the second firing taken care of we'll throw uh the mosfets uh mosfet spot welder back on there and then uh, we'll give that a shot all right guys uh if you liked the video give me a thumbs up give me a subscribe or even how about even better than that if you got anything from the video and you're gonna take something away even if it's just taken away that i'm a fucking giant douchebag uh, throw me a throw me a thumbs up, and if you're going to actually use any of this information in the you know in in your build, you know uh, uh, subscribe guys or, or throw me a share or something like that. I got a lot of great ideas. I got a lot of money and a lot of projects on the go and on the side. Uh, I would like to videotape them, but I need a reason to videotape them, guys. Come on, uh, you guys work with me. I'll share a lot of great content and a lot of great information for you guys for any uh, fun projects you guys might have or you might need fun projects. So I have a lot of great ideas. Throw me a like and a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, guys. All right, take care.